so taking a risk with George, George and Jackson killed George Risk. Today we're going magnet fishing. And last night was a bit of a doozy. It's the first time I ever put up a tent and I did not put the rain guard on. It did not look like rain, but guess what happened? It rained. And luckily I woke up right before the storm and I was able to put the tarp over it. Uh, and things worked out. We ended up in the camper. Alright, so on our way to magnet fishing, we decided to take a detour at the Glacial Groves, also known as the Glacial Grooves. So here you can see where they drilled down and blasted everything. This is the quarry site. We actually got through the grooves already, took a hidden path down the mountain, and now we're stuck in the blast zone. They haven't blasted in many years, but you never know. They could resume at any time, and we'd be trapped down here. After a short journey across Middle Earth, we are at the top of the quarry. I was, of course, life flighted up here. Everybody else took the trail. <laughs> and Jeremy's gonna take the quick way down. He's just gonna jump. There's only one way. Backflip. Hails are the best way. Or are you gonna do belly flop? Hardcore. I know in the video it only looks like it's a few feet. I'm actually touching the bottom with my hand right now. <laughs> but I assure you it's at least a 25 to 30 foot drop. Hardcore oh, parkour! I think taller than that. 50 feet maybe? We're probably 50 feet up. As you guys know with most Native American cave sites they like to draw on the walls. As you can see there's hieroglyphics here from Native Americans in the present day and they are just scattered all over the place I can't decipher any of them but how interesting to see how primitive humans of yesterday used to write and tell their stories this almost looks like it's legible I'm sure there's some paleoarchaeologist looking into these as we speak. Oh, that one right there. That's got to be a different language. Former language. That? That. That? As I'm searching around through all the primitive languages, I came across something absolutely incredible. I'm still trying to decipher it, but it looks like it's a good message. So we're in a made-up quarry somewhere on Kelly's Island, and we skipped going magnet fishing for today. We're going to go tomorrow. But I do have a special guest who's going to tell us a lot more about this here in a second. Pondering on a rock is What the Hill superstar Jeremy Hills. Jeremy, what can you tell us about this area? Well, it was first inhabited by the aliens. The aliens came down and they actually, you've seen the beams come straight out of the ships. That was what caused the hole initially in Kelly's Island. It was really, it was like pulling the plug from the tub and everything goes And then what happened is the rock underneath raised up as the water went down. It was later, much later, that the water actually filled back in with rain. Is that Absolutely. how they used to deliver fresh water to China? Absolutely. It went straight down. Makes perfect sense. Straight down. Yep. Bam. You got water in China. So how many thousands of miles is this deep? Oh, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of miles deep. However deep it is to China, that's how deep it is. Incredible, folks. You're seeing it here first and exclusive on taking a risk. the end of the day but we actually did make it out here to go magnet fishing Jeremy's set up for us we're gonna throw a couple of these while the Sun is setting what do you plan on catching today mermaid balls beautiful as we all know there are tons of mermaidens here all right, so here goes my first attempt. As you can see, I have it tied off just in case I decide to do something new. 
foolish. Let's throw the whole thing in. Here we go. Just like that. Not bad. Not bad for your first try. Would you like to give them any pointers? You might want to loosen the rope a little bit. Okay. Feel something. Th does me, I have the bubble guts. Oh, apparently, your brother has bubble guts too. In case you guys didn't know, George is here with us today too. Howdy, y'all. She just got bubble guts in stereo. <laughs> High definition stereo. What do you get? What do you get? Oh, 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 man, look at that. Look at that. Okay, magnetic yeah. rocks could be meteors, could just be rust from old, from old boats. Very cool. Here it goes again. No, it helps if you're not stepping on the rope. Got something. You got something. He's got something. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. What could it be? What could it be? Is it Bethy? I think it's actually. What could it's it be? The wall. He got the wall. He got the wall. Yeah, he, now he's realizing there's like almost a thousand pounds of magnetic pressure on it. I don't think he'll be doing that again. He is not joking. That's on there. Yeah. That's not ever it's coming up. pretty legit. We are now a part of Kelly's Island. Magnetic attraction. <laughs> he gave up so quickly. Everywhere we go, people are wanting to take pictures with us. So after my fumble, we're gonna let the master take a turn at sunset. While I was busy watching the sunset, Jeremy threw his throw in, and it was beauteous. You feel like you got something. Somebody had dinner here just a little bit ago. KFC, Kelly's Fried Chicken. Careful of that wall. She's a snagger. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes, your face, not the sunset. Oh my god, we're here in Florida. I know what you're talking about, but I know it ain't a friend. You heard it. You got Oh, there we go. I just found metal bacon. Bacon. What did you find? This is probably from part of a binder. Old binder. What is she talking about? This is probably from a shipwreck. It Old definitely is from a shipwreck. Days. Years ago. I thought I saw 1812 on there. Yeah, 1812. Definitely. Look at that. Oh Beautiful. My goodness. My goodness. This could be this could be a relic worth millions. Potentially. Potentially. You only think millions? Millions. Mm. You're right. Billions. And That's right. Right thing. Right thing. All right, Jeremy, show us how to really do it while this sun sets behind you over your majestic shoulder. Oh, it might get caught on the metal. Wow. 
What a wing. We could have just stood over there and just dumped it in if we wanted to do that. But it's magnetic. So if we're looking for things that people have lost in the water, they've actually lost it on the edge of the dock. Oh, so you're right. I actually am trying to drag the edge of the dock. Beautiful. That's how you find historic shipwrecks worth billions. Very nice. I'm going to lose it here soon. I waited all day for this. Oh, yeah. Yes! I got another piece of the shipwreck. Look at this. Do you think this was from the bow or the stern? Could be the port or the aft for all I know. Oh man, look at that. Look at that, George George. Several hundred more finds oh, like this and we would put it back together. Several hundred more finds like this and we're, we're, we're bound to get at least 50 cents in scrap. Either that or we could become the world's first trillionaire. Alright, you're through. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. I'm dragging something. Yeah. It ain't just your feet, is it? It might be the rest of that entire ship. He's got something. He has something on the line. How heavy does it feel? I see it, I see it very strenuous. Yes. Oh! Look at You got much. more, you got more rust. Look at all that. Look at all that rust. It's beautiful. So we're gonna get, a, we're gonna need a few more throws to actually get some money for scrap. <laughs> Yeah, but they don't have magnet fishing. You feel something big on the line? About the size of a magnet, yeah. Could be Bessie, all the iron in her blood. This is getting intense. Cue the epic music. Magnet. You caught the magnet. So I'm gonna take a page out of the master's book. We're gonna go shallow this time, or at least close to the edge. Is your sister the master? Most definitely. Cause she's always saying deep. D master. The D master. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Did you get it? I think he's on to something. I think I had something and I think I lost it. I don't feel it anymore. Cue the epic music. Bop bop. Bop bop. Bop bop. Bop bop. Ay, ay, ay. Bop bop. Bop bop. I caught something non-magnetic. <laughs> You know you had a good day in magnet fishing if you get something non-magnetic. Only a true professional. Oh, there's a snake. Over there. All over there. Going through, uh, oh, there it is. How 
pulls that. You want to get closer to it, Junior? Yeah, you want me to? Just back. Yep. There you are. Look at you. You're a beaut. Very cool. That is an Ohio water snake. I see that's about a three footer. Gorgeous. You have a great night, buddy. All right, so we're out here. They're looking at fish. I found something special. Hi, buddy. Jeremy's over there causing a freedom frenzy while this guy's feasting. Hi, you're so cute. In case you didn't know, kind of a raccoon master. Enjoy. See you later. I gotta catch some of these fish. Whoa! Did you see that monster fish? Whoa! Do you see that that monster fish? I just saw two monster fish. Look at this. Was that the Sandusky monster? I wish. Okay, I'm gonna go further out. This portion of the show is brought to you by Olight. <laughs> There they are. There's a big one. Right there. He broke the surface and broke wind. Here they are. They're coming to me. What are you guys doing? There's a big boy right there. There's absolutely no way a regular flashlight could do this. Oh, oh, oh light! Oh, there they are. Oh, there. Yep, there they are. There's the bait fish. They're running, they're running. <laughs> Look at them running and jumping. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right Look at that. Here. Oh, over, over here, yeah. Oh, wow. Whoa. Look at them all. <laughs> Jeez, only, <laughs> only with this flashlight. Oh, my goodness. And I am not being paid to say this. We actually, we believe it. Look at this. We, we hit the mother load because there's nothing over here. They're all right where we pointed our flashlights. Holy cow. I wanna, all right, George, we gotta I wanna get try more jumpers. Just for fun. Yeah, the jumpers are the fun. Look at that, nothing over here. We literally pinpointed them where they are. Those are following us now. Almost nothing. Algae over here. Uh -huh. I'm not over here. Look, 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 they're jumping out there again. There they are, yep. Oh, look, all they the way look out at there. Them, look at them go. Oh my goodness. How cool is that? <laughs> I never knew you could do that. It's the first time I've ever seen anything like this, and I've seen a lot of things in the outdoors, but I didn't know you could actually create a fishing frenzy with a flashlight. You've discovered two things this trip on this island. How to upset an Egyptian. No, the, uh, the private beach. Oh. And, and how to upset an Egyptian. <laughs> and now this, oh, light fishing. <laughs>
Come on, sissy. Come on, waddle, waddle. Go catch Auntie Martha. Mm-hmm.